This is the default view of LMMS. And as you see, <laughs> my timer is now at 109 because I deleted a part of the video. So what I have to do is I go up to file and I go to new. Oh, uh, I go to new from template. So I go for, up to file and click on file, scroll down to new from template. And I want to create an empty, an empty project. Okay. Once I have an empty project, then I open up my instrument plugin. And you see, you've got a lot of a uh, lot of different instruments to play around with. You have um, special effects, X, XR, uh, uh, plugin, play in, free boy, bit invader. But I'm going to go down all the way to triple oscillator and I click and drag. And that's and now I've added it to my project. OK, so what I need to do now is I click on triple oscillator and I have now have access to the uh, instrument panel and I can configure it the way I want. So first things off, if I play it, you hear that clicking sound. That's a rather unpleasant. So that's the very first thing, actually. I need to add so I can see my signal because you see if I play multiple notes, it overrides. So first of all, I need to drop my volume. It's a little too soft. Increase it to probably about 36. There we go. So now if I play multiple notes, it's not uh, it's not uh, peaking. Now I need to uh, access my envelope and I need to add an I need to add an envelope to my uh, volume setting. And what this does is it configures the sound and you can hear already it's cleaned it up. So if I if I remove cancel, if I remove my my uh, modulation, you hear it clicking again. So I need to add that. And now it's produced a much more mellow sound, okay? So I'm going to, I, I increase the attack time. That's what removes that click because it, it makes the sound, it, it, uh, the initial tone is not immediate on. It has to rise up and then it allows the sound to go through. I want this to be more of a sustaining instrument. So if I hold my notes down, it continues the sound for a particular amount of time. Uh, I also want the release time. See, see I, I press my notes and it sustains through, okay? Because I'm want i going for kind of an, an ethereal sound, okay? Uh, one thing you can also do is you can add a little bit of, I forget what they call this, but anyway, it gives it a... Um, it gives it a tremolo sound. So if I do a frequency by 100, then what it takes the speed and it increases it, it multiplies it by 100. So let's. Just a little bit. See, it adds a nice, adds a nice quality. Let's increase the attack time. So it eases in to the sound before it begins to add my tremolo. You can also add a little bit of delay. There we go. Nice sound. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do for our envelope. Um, I'm gonna. I, I can adjust my um, my oscillators here. So if I there's mix. See, it's kind of a deeper sound. If I do mix and sync. too much of a release. So let's go to the, uh, what is this called? Plugin. So this is the plugin panel where you can change it. Let's uh, do triangle. So let's make oscillator three. It's going to be a triangle. Um, and then you can detune your left and right. Let's make this an arpeggiator. So I clicked on the three notes. Uh, the uh, so after the envelope, I clicked on the arpeggiator, and let's make let's go to the minor, the minor segment. There we go. I don't 
don't like that buzz. So let me change this. There's a particular buzz that's coming through. I think it might be because I detuned my channels. So let's drop those back to see. There we go. Just a very pleasant sound. There's a little bit of a thumping sound after us. I think I might need to add, I uh, increase my decay. There we go. I can also increase my attack time. And there you've got instant Harry Potter. Or what have you. <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm going to do for those uh, effects. Now I'm going to add some uh, effects which can be applied to pretty much any instrument and the one the two that I'm going to add are uh, compressor and um, compressor and reverb okay so compressor let's add that and what this does is it takes my peak values and decreases it by a particular ratio so if I have a really high sound I can use my compressor and it will drop it will it will compress the sound down and it compresses it by a particular ratio. So anything over this threshold, and I'm going to set the threshold at about 25. I'm going to set my ratio. So anything over uh, anything over 25 dB, um, it's going to compress it by a factor of, we'll do a factor of 2. You can set this factor by anything, but it decreases it down, okay? Um, and anything that's lower, so after it's done its its compression, it then has to increase the entire sound. Oh, that's my lights. So it has to increase the entire sound. Um, and it, it so it increases it, and that's what the gain level is. So after it has done its compression, it then bumps up the entire level up by a particular factor. In this case, it would be um, 3 dB. So if I play... Okay. Now I'm going to in increase my attack time. Anything, anything below 20 milliseconds is pretty good. And I'm going uh, to uh, decrease my release time to about 100, 100 milliseconds. Close to it. There we go. I'm going to decrease my knee radius. Okay. Just a little bit of a buzz. I think if I go to my, if I add my, I think that's, I'm not sure what RESO stands for. But by adding it in, I think it worked. There we go, so you can play with it. So just getting some fun sounds. So I've added my compression. Oh, I don't quite like that much. Uh, let's go to volume and let's decrease the amount of modulation. Just want a little hint of a tremolo. We don't want it to be too overpowering. Okay, and now after we've added our compression, we're now going to add our reverb. Once again, just to get more of that ethereal sound. Do so you see it's a little too much? So I'm just decreasing. I, I decreased the overall blend. I'm just decreasing my levels. Pretty nice. It's not a pure enough tone yet. So once you have all those settings, so once again, we changed the envelope, added an envelope to our volume and our res, uh, resolution, I guess, or cutoff. I don't know what RESO stands for, but anyway, you've got three elements uh, that you can um, adjust. In fact, if I add it to my cutoff and then I add release time. There we go. Very nice. 
Okay, so uh, I've added my envelopes and I've added two effects, compression and plate. Okay, so once you've done that, you wanna save it, right? So let's call this minor arpeggiator, minor arp. Okay, so once you have this, uh, value here, then uh, you've you've given it a name and you want it saved for future projects. You click on save, okay, and uh, save it under that file name. And you see here, I've already got quite a few saved under my, it's in the presets folder in L LMMS slash presets slash, and then this particular plugin, which is triple oscillator. So once I have those saved, now it's an instrument that I can use for future projects. And I'll show you a few of them that I've created already. So I go to my presets and let's add a beats and bass line and let's double click on the beats and bass line. Oh, and is it gonna let me get to it? I need to access this, there we go. So I want to add uh, some of my presets beats to this particular track and I'll go to, uh, is it an audio file processor? And I need to add smooth drum so this is one that I created. Okay, so that's one. And if I if I click on it, you can see some of the effects that I added. So first of all, I I didn't mess. Oh yes, okay. So you see here that I uh, um, added a, a volume envelope. I've changed my filter to make it a low pass uh, filter. Um, and then my effects, I just added compression. Okay. So I've got that, and then let's do crash. There we go. So those are two, two presets that I created, and I can now use them in this track. So let's change this. So I... Let's, let's make the tempo 100, okay? And then I need to change my arpeggiator so that it matches that level. So I go to arpeggiator and I go to time, okay? And 200, let's see if that works. So 200 milliseconds is the time in between beats. Almost there. So you, so you just play one with the time until it fits. But you, can, but you get the idea of how to work with presets and then you have them saved for future projects. Okay, so now to save LMS, control S, it opens up your little dialog box here. Let's save it, let's give it a file, let's call it a my beats. And now it's saved, okay? And if you then wanna export this project, I don't know why you'd want to because there's nothing in here, but let's say that you've uh, worked out this sweet project and you want to export it and share it with your friends or use it in a video game project or what have you. Go to export, okay, and you uh, you can save it as a .wav file. In fact, types of files, you can save it as, a, as an .ogg, .ogg file, an mp3, or a .wav. So I'm going to save it as an mp3. So mp3. And it takes your project name and just as project name dot mp3 and it's saved under you can see uh, documents slash lmms slash projects very good so you save it it gives you some options to choose from i'm not going to worry about any of these but you can play around you can change it from stereo down to mono change your bit rate change your compressed file once again at this point you can change it even more uh, and that's it uh, you can uh, also set it so that it's a loop um, which then just makes it um, it, it, yeah, as you see in the little note here, remove and silence. So if you were to use this in a video game setting, that would be a box that you would want to check because then you can just uh, create a uh, particular riff or a little musical idea that can constantly loop on itself. Okay, so start and it has been exported. All right, so that was the, that was the process for setting up a project in LMMS, creating an instrument, uh, and then saving that instrument as a preset to then use in other projects. Thank you very much for watching. This has been the uh, create a video in two hours. Uh, so it edit, yeah, film, edit, and uh, share a video in two hours. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.